Yo yo yo, what is up guys, welcome to another video. Today, we've got another video about the crew, but I thought I'd start that video off with that amazing, amazing engine sounds on that 370Z. It sounds beautiful, you know, it, 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 I, I believe the one thing that you can exaggerate in a racing game is the engine noise, and this is the sounds in general, and boy, that sounded good. <laughs> that sounded good. Anyway, we've got more crew news since um, I was watching the Route 909 stream yesterday, and they talked a lot about the, well, not a lot, but they mentioned the story and you know I'm just gonna talk a bit about the story for a bit and then they talked about some other stuff with pretty juicy information I thought I'll, I'll relay the information to you guys just in case if you weren't in the stream yesterday so without further ado let's get straight to the video okay guys so what is the story about now uh, they, they only briefly mentioned it but it, it kind of leaves me on to my predictions and what I, I kind of guess the, the whole storyline will be like so it's a kind of Fast and Furious-esque uh, storyline you you will be going undercover as an FBI agent trying to find out and try to take down the crews um, that, that's, that was all that was mentioned but it, it, it's very Fast and Furious-esque you know um, it, you'll be you'll be partaking in many events and it includes all the dirt events and all the you know street race events and you'll be seeing some of them in more crew content which will be put, uh, uploaded later this week um, the street races I'm, I'm, I'm talking about um, so yeah it's very Fast and Furious-esque uh, FBI agent go undercover, take down the crews. It's it's similar to a lot of other racing games, and in a racing game, you don't really look for a story that much. You know, we're not expecting you know like Grammy Award winning stories in a racing game, but it's nice. It's finally included into a racing game because I don't think there's been a story, a good story in a racing game since Midnight Club undercover. Midnight Club needs to be undercover times. So it's good to see that they are including a good, you know, a well-rounded story, which is going to keep us entertained for quite a while. Okay, so and now I'm going to talk a bit about police chases. Now you might see a police chase or two in this um, little section of video, but essentially how it works is the more destruction, the havoc you cause, you'll get an infracture level. Um, it will be it will, it will be called something across those lines. Um, it goes up to a five star rating, very similar to the heat system in Most Wanted in Carbon. Uh, and you know the long the the more stars you get, the harder it is to get rid of the police, and they will be um, enforcing harder police forces to try get to try to take you down. Um, you know this will include like SWAT vans and you know roadblocks and stuff like that. Um, and that's basically how it works. It's very similar to Most Wanted in Carbon. With the crew, there's not really anything new with the game. They are just perfecting what they've already done, and I, I really appreciate that because we've seen that with game, many games uh, such as like GTA 5, and you know, uh, can't think of many of my head. But there's been a lot of games where it's not about you know, like Far Cry. That that's a great example. It's not so much about you know. Adding loads of new features, it's about refining the features that are already here. And, you know, for some of the, the customizable features, we haven't seen that in quite a while. The fact they're bringing these back is great. And, you know, it's gonna, I hope it really does play a factor in the game. So that's how the police system works. Really, really cool. I, I, I enjoy the fact that, you know, there's police in the game. And the fact that you won't get chased randomly by the police if you're not doing anything wrong. So if you're not speeding, if you're not causing havoc, or, you know, if you do anything across those lines, you won't get caught. Because I, 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 I used to hate in carbon and most wanted when the police randomly would chase after you that pissed me off so much so it's great to see they've actually got a good police system in check and finally I'm going to talk about the unlockables how do you unlock the unlockables well there is a shit ton of ways so as you can see when you're just driving around there'll be there'll be some like uh, challenges on the way uh, if you complete these challenges and get gold bronze or silver you will get an, a, a part you know, so you can use on your car. This may be an ECU part, maybe maybe a body customizationable part, maybe nitrous, maybe anything. It could be anything, you know, that is available in the um, in the storefront. So you you either get a bronze, silver, or gold. Um, obviously, gold's going to be the best. Silver, mid, mid, like, sort of like middle, uh, bronze, obviously the worst. And then in and then inside each bronze, silver, or gold, they'll have like a level. So say I've got a level one gold. That's not going to be as good as a level 20, uh, a level 20 silver piece, uh, and it's kind of like if you guys play COD, it's like co like up upgrading your guns, you know. That's what it's like. Um, if you played Modern Warfare 3, um, the more kills you got with the gun, the higher the level would go, the more parts you would unlock. That's kind of what it's like here. Uh, you you upgrade parts, and uh, as you upgrade parts, 
the, the parts get better. If, if you didn't understand, leave a comment and tell me what you didn't understand. I'll try to explain it down in the comments if I didn't explain it that well. But it, it's a really good system. It, it, it kind of forces you to play more of the game to get better. Like, a definitely like an MMO style uh, an upgrade system, progression system. And uh, yeah, it's going to take quite a while to, to upgrade each car, I'm guessing, to like full status. So it's really good to see that, that you know they're not rushing the progression system. And I, I, I love the fact that you know it takes a while to, to upgrade your cars so that is all we've got today guys I uh, hope you enjoy if I didn't like explain anything right uh, leave it in the comments I'll try to uh, you know word it better in text form uh, this gameplay was from the Ubisoft stream last night the, the Route 909 stream but I recorded it so uh, uh, if you do want to use it let me contact me and uh, we can sort something out that's all I've got to say guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like subscribe stay safe and I will see you later peace Guys, well, today we're going to talk about two bodies.